In this video, we want to evaluate log base two of 16. So we're trying to find this value here. Uh, so if you recall, log uh, logs are just a fancy way of rewriting an exponent, an exponential expression. So that's actually what we're going to be doing here. So log base two of 16. We want to know what is this equal to. Um, so to solve this, what we actually probably need to do is change this into exponential form. So if you recall, this is saying if we take two and raise it to some power, it's going to equal 16. Two to what power is equal to 16? Now, if we wanna be a little bit more precise mathematically, we can make this into an actual mathematic equation and say that this is gonna be equal to x call this x so we can say 2 to the x is equal to 16 uh, and we can then evaluate this and solve try and solve this expression uh, to do this we want to try and make each of these have the same base so that we can use that property that we saw in the last section where if you have two exponential expressions that are equal to each other and have the same base then we set their exponents equal to each other so 16 can be rewritten as 2 to the fourth power. So what that does is it gives us 2 to the x equals 2 to the fourth. And using that property, we can then say that x is equal to 4. So x is equal to 4. So really what this is saying, right, this whole expression is equal to 4. So this means that 2 to the fourth power is equal to 16. Logs are a way to, for us to figure out what power we have to raise this base to to get the argument. So let's take a look at another example of this. So we want to evaluate this log. It's log base 3 of 1 27th. So we're going to do the same thing. So log base 3 of 1 over 27 is equal to x. And we're going to convert this into exponential form. So we take 3 to the x power equals 1 over 27. Now, we want to express both of these as a power with the same base. So if we look at 1 over 27, um, we can, if we use our properties of exponents, we know that 1 over 27 is the reciprocal of 27. And we know that we can get the reciprocal as the result of a negative exponent. So 27 to the negative first power is going to be equal to 1 over 27. So from this we get 3 to the x equals 27 to the negative first. Um, and fortunately for us, 27 can be broken down to be uh, expressed as 3 to some power. So this is 3 to the x uh, equals 27 is 3 to the third. So 3 to the third, all of this to the negative first power. And then again, when you raise a power to a power, you multiply the exponents. So we get that three to the X is equal to uh, three to the negative third power. And using our properties that says, if you have two exponential expressions that are equal to each other and have the same base, then all we have to do is set the exponents equal to each other. And so we get that X is equal to negative three. So, this is saying that log base 3 of 1 27th is equal to negative 3. So this whole thing is equal to negative 3.